hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are making beautiful roses that can be used as ease or as part of a bouquet let's get to the tutorial we will need dried out centers shortening gum paste in any color water and a paintbrush needle nose pliers and a rolling pin cornstarch and a glass sponge or tissues to support the petals where they dry rose petal cutters gauge 18 floor wire a foam pad acetate sheets to keep your petals from drying out an apple tray to form the petals and a hanging rack mine is an oven grill placed on a styrofoam block we will start by making the centers Roll some of your gum paste to a teardrop shape and place it in the cutter size you intend to use. It should be about two thirds of it. Take your gauge 18 wire and form a hook on one end using your needle nose pliers. Dip the wire hook in water Push it into the wide part of the teardrop shaped gum paste, twist and pinch to secure the wire. Let the center dry out for at least 24 hours. I had made these roses prior to this video to show you the sizes. You can stop at any stage of the process and still get a cute rose. Roll out your preconditioned gum paste, make it as thin as possible, but not too thin otherwise it will tear. With the same size petal cutter as the one you used to make the center, Cut out petals and place them in between two acetate sheets. I prefer cutting out many petals instead of repeating the cutting process. Pick one of the small size petals, place it on the foam pad and with your ball tool, thin out the edges and the center. Put a little water all over the petal, then pick your teardrop center and place it on the petal. Make sure it's centered. Wrap the petal around the teardrop, forming a sharp point at the top. Take three more petals and thin out the edges only. With a paintbrush, put a little water along the edge of the petal. I'm right-handed, so I went for the left side of the petal. Stick the first petal covering the open part of the teardrop. Place 
place the next petal right under the first and do the same for the third petal, making what may look like a boat engine rotor blade. Take a dry brush and make sure the petal edge sticks to the teardrop. Push the other edge of the petal slightly downward to form a rosebud. Keep pushing the petal gently as you work your way down. At this point, you can either cut the hanging gum paste or put a little water and press it down using the back end of your brush. Your rosebud is ready and you can stick a calyx on it or proceed to the next layer of petals. Take three more petals and thin the edges out. Put a little water on the edge and stick to the bud. At this point, the rose is beginning to open up, so only one side of the petal will stick fully to the bud and the other side will hang slightly open. Push the gum paste down slightly with a brush. You can add a calyx here or you can continue to open up the rose by adding more petals. We will need 5 petals for the next layer. You can use a larger cutter or you can stick to the same cutter you've been using. I use the larger cutter. I thinned the edge and I used a thin brush to roll the edges back. Be more careful than I was, otherwise the gum paste will tear.
put a little water on the lower side of the petal. And stick them to the flower overlapping each other. I prefer doing this while the flower is upside down. Make sure the petals are well arranged and then press them down using the brush. At this point, the flower needs to hang upside down or the petals won't hold their shape. The ratio of our rows is 3 is to 5 is to 7. Cut 7 more petals, thin them and roll the edges back. Then place them on the back side of an apple tray or tablespoons to dry for about 10 minutes. I had made some in advance. Put some water on the lower edge. and stick the seven petals overlapping each other. Push them down with a brush and gently place your rose between your fingers and turn it over. Put the sponges or pieces of kitchen towel in between the petal layers to keep the flower open. Then gently turn it upside down and let it dry. Here is our finished rose. Thanks for watching.